Folks, Curtis Dvorak coming to you from the Corks Art District. And if you don't know where that is, it's at King and Phyllis right here, the King Street District. I'm joined by a good friend of mine, Hope McMath, the owner of the Yellow House right here. The Yellow House, as you can see how it got its name. But Hope, for those who haven't seen this yet and know about you, when did you open and what's it about? So we opened about 10 months ago, so a little less than a year. And Yellow House is really all about how art intersects with community and social justice. And so it's part gallery part outreach, part education, and lots of inspiration. How did, uh, how did you get the name? So Yellow House, the neighbors were referring to it as Yellow House, even though when I first moved in, it wasn't yellow. But there's also some inspiration from my own life and from the world of art history through from stories. From my favorite artist. Vincent Van Gogh. Yes. Right? Who started his big first leap into the arts in a place called the Yellow House. So Yellow House is a pretty special place for artists as well as for our city. And it's right here across the, the Cork Art Districts is right there. There's a, a few buildings that involve that. Housed with what, 70 plus Yep, artists. there's about 70 artists, both visual artists, performing artists, writers, who are right next door to where Yellow House is. So this is a pretty special little spot yeah. within the city of Jacksonville. Yeah. The energy and the art and the culture coming out of this area is amazing. And right now, one of the things you do, you give a platform to artists to display their work and you got a, a gallery starting. Yes, we um, change our shows about um, every two months and we are getting ready to open a show of the work of Aaron Kendrick, who is an amazing yeah. artist and helps further our goal to center artists of color and women artists yeah. in the work that we do. And uh, we're super excited to turn Yellow House over to Aaron. Oh, this is so cool. All right, we're gonna get, introduce you to Aaron right now. Come on, let's go. Aaron? Good to see you. Good to see you. Too. Aaron Kendrick, folks, local Jacksonville artist, soon to be world famous. Uh, I'm so excited for you. This is uh, this is going to be a really great exhibit. But first, tell folks about your art story. We'll do. I am from Jacksonville, Florida. I was born and raised here. I went to Reigns High School and I started my art career at Florida State University. Um, then went on to graduate school in Atlanta, Georgia. Worked up there for a while, decided that I really wanted to do what I was going to do here in Jacksonville. So I kind of found my way back to Jacksonville and I also found my way back to art here in this city. And I have, since 2016, have just been rolling since then. So art, you're an artist, but you're also an art teacher. And right. art, art is life is your hashtag. Pretty much, yes. So I'm an art educator here at a lot of different levels. I'm an adjunct professor at the University of North Florida. I teach um, an after school program called at Jacksonville Art and Music School. Um, so I teach in a lot of different capacities here and there. And so the yellow, the yellow house where mm -hmm. we're at right now, this is, you're in the process of installing your exhibit. Right. And right. this is, uh, this is going to be uh, July 14th to October 3rd? Right. So the opening is July 14th, this Saturday, and the show will be here in the space all the way through October 3rd. Yeah. So what, for an artist, I always, what are you, is this, is this the first time you've ever done something like this? It's not my first time having an exhibition, it's my first time having an exhibition by myself. So this is my first solo exhibition. So walk me through a little bit, I know there's so much work still to do, obviously, mm -hmm. you can see the, the, the your drawing on the walls, this mm -hmm. is going to be really, really cool. What, what are you hoping uh, to get out of, out of this for yourself and what are you hoping people see when they come? Um, as an artist, you always want your particular voice to be heard. For me, um, one of the most important things that I want to get across is acknowledging who I am, so this work is very personal to me. So I am a, a black female artist. I um, want to speak using that voice and I want that to be my subject matter in my work. So what this show in particular um, will be about is sort of my interpretation, me being inspired by a book called Four Colored Girls Who Have Considered Suicide When the Rainbow Is Enough by Ntozaki Shange. And that's pretty much what she's doing in the book. She is speaking in her black female voice to black females and it's really about like healing like how we how we can kind of find healing in each other so in the book there are seven characters um, the seven characters will be the paintings that you see in this space one important thing about this space is that i'm using it as a house. So Yellow House is sort of a non-traditional gallery in that it, it used to be a house, basically. And I'm doing this show in that context. So this is the dining room space. There will be bedroom spaces in here. So these you got some eggshells there. I see yes. the eggshells are going to be on the floor. 
Yeah, so in different places, the eggshells will be on the floor. What does that mean? Conceptually, it's about um, kind of breaking down those barriers. So if you consider like walking on eggshells, sometimes yeah. people are kind of scared to have these conversations with each other. So the eggshells will be in the space and it's meant for people to physically walk on them. So you participate in breaking down those barriers and things like that. Physical so, representation of real right, talk. Right, exactly. And two things happen then. One, you're physically in that process of breaking down those barriers. Two, you also track the eggshell with you, so you kind of take it with you. You know, hopefully this is transformative in a way that people leave here thinking a little differently and they take that with them. Well, that's what, that's what Hope wanted with mm -hmm. the, the Yellow House. This is really cool. Um, I'm excited. I'm excited to see this. I know you. I know you are too. Uh, a lot of people in the city. The art. The art scene has exploded. Yes. In the last few yes, years. Yes. I'm so. glad to be a part of it. And your your studio is right over at Court. Yes. Street. I'm right across the street at Court. Yes. You don't have to carry this stuff too far. But. <laughs> no, not too far. Well, I'm gonna let you get back to work. I appreciate your time. Thank you. And thank you. Pleasure. So you got to come check it out, folks. Yellow House. Come here. It's starting July 14th, October 3rd. You can come see this work. And this is, uh, is going to be really cool. I'm excited. Congratulations. Thank you.